Bible tends to put us into two different categories. The people that create content are considered artists. And the people that deliver that content are considered educators. Now, content is usually information that already exists. It's very rare in this world that we create brand new information and that we have brand new ideas. And then education is built on delivering that content to other people. How do we do this? How do we teach? Well, generally, most people teach by doing exactly what was taught to them. You teach it to them, and then they deliver it in the exact same way that it was taught to them. There's a problem with this. One, they're assuming that it was taught to them correctly in the first place. And two, a lot of educators don't actually practice the delivery of information. They, they work so hard on the content. Got to get the content right. I've got to memorize every little thing that Columbus did when he discovered America. But they don't ever think about the delivery. And the delivery is what I believe can become an art. So let's go back in time a little bit. For me, I was sitting in class, let's say it's fifth grade, and the normal teacher, she's sick, she's got the flu, so we get a substitute teacher, and it's Coach Fisher from PE, and that's just the way the public school system works, and that's fine, and he's teaching math, and we're sitting in math class, and he's teaching it the exact same way it was taught to him. Head down, reading out of a book, not engaged, not passionate at all, fifth grade, I'm looking around the class. Now, I kind of understand mathematics a little bit, so I kind of get the multiplication tables we're working on, but I'm looking around the class, and I can see that everybody's fairly confused. No one's engaged whatsoever. And while this is happening, I look over to my right, a little Billy Barfield, and I'm like, Billy, do you get this at all? And Billy goes, uh-uh. And I, I speak like an adult. Billy speaks like a child. And so I go, I go, okay, Billy, think of it like this, buddy. And I start, I start re-explaining multiplication. I try to change the delivery of the information that Coach Fisher is just up there blabbering about. And immediately, this is what happens. Mr. Johnston, yeah, Coach, what are you doing? He's like from New York or Boston in my head. He's, he's from Sacramento, California. I don't know why he sounds like this. So I go, I go oh, I'm just, I'm just trying to explain the multiplication thing to, to Billy Barfield here. Shut up and keep your mouth quiet. I'm like, that's redundant. Those are the same things, but you got it, coach. I can do that. <laughs> so I was a bit of a smart ass, too. So now let's, let's change the situation. Let's change the scenario. Imagine if that exact situation would have happened in the class that he has passion about. Imagine if that would have happened in PE. He's teaching basketball. They're doing a layup drill. He's teaching people how to do layups. I grab the ball between the legs, dunk it, 10-foot rim. I'm in fifth grade. That's impressive. What do you think would have happened? Do you think he would have been like, shut up and keep your mouth shut? No way. He would have been like, Mr. Johnston, front of the class right now. Yeah, coach, what's up? You're the new starting forward for the John Holst Cougars. Sweet. That's awesome. What if the situation would have happened in an artistic class like music? All of a sudden, the, the band, they're working on their scales, and the drummers are working on their rudiments, and I grab the sticks, and I walk over to the kit, and I go, boom, scat, scat, do you think they would have been told to shut, well, I've been told to shut up, but <laughs> still, still, the teacher would have been like, Mr. Johnson, yeah, Mr. LaFranchi, what's up? Front of the class. What can I do for you? I need to speak with your parents. You are the new first chair drum set player. Okay, like oh, sweet chicken gumbo. That sounds fantastic. Let's do it. So how could Coach Fisher have handled this situation better? He could have said, Mr. Johnston, keep your mouth shut and shut up, but see me after class. Okay, Coach, I guess I'm in trouble. And I could have seen him and he could have said, you know what? I saw you explaining stuff to Billy Barfield. Here's a book. It's about teaching. It's about comparisons. It's about analogies. It'll give you more tools to explain things to people because I think you have a talent. You seem to like explaining things to people. Why can't we treat the delivery of information as a talent? Why can't we treat it as an art form? And I think we can. It's not enough to just say that. I want to show you some examples of how I do this in my own teaching privately and in classes. 